The balance of economic power worldwide has been drastically rearranged during the previous two decades. Also, the emergence of China and to a lesser extent, the BRICS nations has been the primary factor in this. The BRICS include not just the East Asian superpower, but also the other four major developing nations of Brazil, Russia, India, and South Africa. And the more standardized and formalized group this group has grown, the more it has become a part of the larger system. They have even established collective entities and hold regular summits. Now many analysts are concerned that with its rising power comes the potential for authoritarian version of state capitalism to become the norm. And just recently, they announced that more countries are ready to ditch the US dollar. That's why today, we're going to dive deeper into this. So make sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to Tech Revolution, and watch till the end. So first, who are these BRICS countries and what do they do? The BRICS is made up of group of countries and economies. And in the early 2000s, ex-Goldman Sachs economist Jim O'Neill popularized the acronym BRIC. He used it to characterize the four developing nations poised to begin catching up to the West by the turn of the millennium. In retrospect, this idea looks to be fraught with difficulties. Around 2014, Brazil's economy slowed drastically as the country battled early deindustrialization. And historically, Russia has been a world powerhouse, so calling it a rising was and is a stretch. In particular, the country's post-communist industrial sector has remained very modest, keeping the country's overall size relatively modest, even now, as the government launches a massive military assault. Also, despite having approximately three times as many people as the United Kingdom and the world's biggest, most resource-rich regions, its GDP is still around half that of the United Kingdom. Now, rapid development in India is remarkable. Although its economy is now around one-fifth the size of China's, its proportional share of global GDP has actually fallen. An author draws parallels between the two, calling them the slouching tiger and the roaring dragon. And finally, it may be argued that South Africa is not a growing power on a global scale. It wasn't initially included in the grouping, but it was added later for regional representation. In reality, the meteoric ascent of China is the main focus of the BRICS narrative. Its growth has been so steady over so many years that it has fundamentally altered the balance of economic power worldwide. Many others have recently adopted a more optimistic stance toward the group's plan to abandon the US dollar. As the argument goes, Eastern modes of state-led growth are preferable to Anglo-American economic and political institutions, and that's consistent with and dependent on a free and open international economy. Now what's certain is that Russia's invasion of Ukraine has reignited the worries of many Western liberals. Western countries have reason to be concerned following reports that Egypt, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Argentina, all of which are democracies, have requested to join the BRICS. According to data, China's GDP is significantly more than the sum of that of the other four BRICS countries combined. It's about $18 trillion compared to Brazil's $1.6 trillion, Russia's $1.8 trillion, India's $3.2 trillion, and South Africa's $400 billion. The U.S. economy is estimated at $23 trillion. However, when measured in terms of purchasing power parity, China's GDP rivals any other countries. In July, it was reported that Iran and Argentina have submitted membership applications to join the BRICS. The BRICS is expanding, and with it comes greater political and economic influence. Around the middle of this year, President Putin made a major announcement at one of the BRICS summits. He said that a new global reserve currency composed of a basket of BRICS currencies was about to be introduced by Russia, China, and other BRICS nations. Now, such a reserve currency would pose a severe challenge to the US dollar if it were to gain widespread acceptance. It's hard to look at these two stories and not see them as connected. Experts say Iran and Argentina only follow the crowd by joining in on the trend, and the reason is that they see an opening to form a new coalition in opposition to Western-led globalization. 
Meanwhile, the rest of the bricks are encouraging them to join since they've spotted blood. Moreover, the rapid reversal of Western sanctions on Russia has exposed to what they believe to be significant economic flaws. So what impact may a new trade bloc with its own reserve currency have on the West and the dollar? Probably because, as a group, the BRICS account for about 31.5% of global GDP after PPP adjustments are made. If we include Iran and Argentina, the figure jumps to 33% of the global GDP. And with a potential GDP share of 33%, this region might become a formidable trading bloc worthy of its own reserve currency. However, even beyond this, there is massive room for mutual benefit between the countries. Combined output of oil and iron are required to create steel from the enlarged BRICS countries is around 26% and 50% respectively. And about 40% of the world's corn and 46% of the world's wheat are produced there. So a new reserve currency would quickly rise to prominence if these were transacted in it. Meanwhile, the value of the dollar is beginning to fall. At the start of June, the International Monetary Fund issued a study revealing that the US dollar now accounts for 59% of the world's reserves. It has fallen drastically from its 1999 high of 70%. According to the study, reserve managers at central banks have been diversifying their holdings away from the dollar and into alternative currencies. So picture this, the BRICS nations have decided to develop their own reserve currency, which will name the BRIC. Suppose the BRIC was issued as a reserve proportionally to the bloc's weight in terms of world GDP, eating away at the value of all other reserves by the same amount, the ramifications would also be devastating. If pitted against the US currency, the BRIC might hold its own. Now in terms of their impact on the global economy, the current shifts have been unprecedented since 1945. However, the topic is rarely broached in the media or among political leaders. Some experts hope that the Western leaders have prepared for this and have a plan for the future. And the reason is that these changes have the potential to have a profound effect on Western lifestyles and the global order. Now the reasons why people want to join BRICS are complex. For example, Saudi Arabia has a tight security alliance with the United States and is already an extremely wealthy country. Moreover, it can mobilize large amounts of sovereign wealth for investment to spur economic growth. However, progress toward political modernization at home has been sluggish and an energy-dependent economy puts the country at risk during global decarbonization. And following the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi, there has been some diplomatic isolation. Like other authoritarian nations, Saudi Arabia must look for internal and international legitimacy from outside sources. Expanding commercial ties with China is crucial to this effort since it will help diversify the economy and the sources of foreign support simultaneously. Now Egypt, Iran, and Turkey all have tales that are pretty similar. Each of these nations' current governments has presided over a period of economic instability, political strife, and international isolation. Ten years after it began, the Arab Spring's impact on the Middle East is still being felt strongly today. As a result, the authorities were left feeling vulnerable and the repression continued. So what do you think of the BRICS plan to ditch the prominent US dollar? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching till the end. Before you go, make sure to like and subscribe and click the notification bell to trigger YouTube's algorithm and see more of our videos on your homepage. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more interesting videos like this.